Hi, this is probably going to be the last of the videos for 2010. That's my miscanthus grass and it's the one that travels and goes crazy. But it's at the back of the garden and it can go as crazy as it wants because on this side of it I have galvanized metal sunk three feet down so it can only go back not forward. Some of the phlox is still blooming and the asters are really popping right now. The smoke bush back there, the burgundy. Silver, I think that's silver king artemisia really drought tolerant and then the fireworks goldenrod that aster is purple dome and then the snake root behind it chocolate it's just starting to flower tiny white flowers but during the late spring and early summer, the foliage is more burgundy. And the castor bean. Here is the ornamental kale. There's three different kinds. I forget the name of them. I see my little toad there. He's hopping. See him? Right there. Whoop! Out of focus. Eats all those nasty slugs for me. Uh, the snow in the summer ground cover is filling in again and you know, plumping up in the middle of summer, it started to go dormant. Didn't look so good. Corabels, plum pudding, and a little of the blue, great blue lobelia. There's not too many flowers left on it yet. Maybe this one here, there's a little more. It's one of my favorites really reseeds a lot. I did hit a lot of it. Leaves are all fallen. Castor beans didn't get hit by frost yet. I'm really surprised. Cannas, they didn't get hit either yet. Red barberries, pygmy. And my little zebra is just starting to get its plumes on it. Elma Pachki hot pink aster. Gloriosa daisy in the Rebecca family reseeds a lot and I cut some of it back so it blooms later or I threw seeds down around uh, June and then they'll bloom later for me. 
when the black eyed Susans are done. This goldenrod back there uh, was given to me, and I use it quite a bit in the garden. I don't know the name of it, but I call it flame. It gives it nice height behind where I put um, oh, the fireworks goldenrod. It gives me that tall yellow. This uh, kale, ornamental kale, is called peacock. The balloon flower foliage turns a nice golden yellow this time of the season. One of the few that I don't cut all the way down. Ah. Nadia still is blooming. That little burgundy flower and a couple different uh, ornamental tails with a more of a white variegated with a lavender vein. This miscanthus Dixieland is um, only its second year. Next year it should really take off like the mother plant. It's really a thick clump. I have to take off of it yearly, the mother clump, because it just gets too big. If it gets too big, then I can't divide it easily. This is a pretty little, um, I think it's a, a Penicetum, foxtails of some type. I think this one's called redhead, something new. There's the mom, Miscanthus, called uh, Dixieland. The variegation has got a lot of white in it, and I like it because it really pops in the garden. Morning Glory got hit a little bit by the frost. Diablo 9 bark back there starting to turn its real, oh, it'll be a bright red. It should look pretty. It's still the burgundy I like all season. My barking neighbor's dog. I just transplanted one of those um, Penicetum grasses. I don't know if I'm saying it right but it gets like a foxtail on it. And I transplanted it now because n now I know where I want it. In spring, I'll forget. So I keep it watered and give it some warm tea and give it a good root system. I think um, that's called fleece flower. Mm, fire tail. The hot pink. That's been blooming since about end of May, beginning of June. And I put another miscanthus back there to make more of a screen on the neighbor's side. My um, trumpet vine that I'm training into a tree is coming along. Some of you know it when it was a baby. But it's now about eight years old and doing real good. I lost some of it. And I'm hoping in a few years that the bark of the trumpet vine will encase the uh, pole of the umbrella. And it'll look more like a tree trunk. This is um, little blue stem. This 